Hello gentlemen, welcome back or welcome to this men's colognes channel. Today's video I'm going to share with you the longest lasting men's colognes and there's some niche, some designers, something for everybody. These in my experience, I've tried them on my husband, I have maybe complimented somebody, they are just very long lasting and they're tr all tried, true and tested and they last at least eight hours but most of them 10 12 more hours so you'll get a solid wear out of them wherever you go first up we've got a very very powerful fragrance this is eternal this is not eight hours this is much more uh, 10 plus hours depending on the weather because the weather really makes a difference here this fragrance is a niche fragrance. It's called Mandala from Mask Milano. This is for somebody who loves scents. Maybe they've got like five, 10 in their collection and they want a niche fragrance that is super sexy, very different. This scent, in my opinion, it is just so manly and grippy. It's got tons of incense and you, when you think about an incense fragrance you usually think about a heavier denser scent this is but it's also very very bright and fresh which is quite unusual for this sort of a scent it's almost like got this juicy pineapple sort of a scent as well at the beginning and then it's got tons of incense and woods it's so enchanting it's very moody i would say and very sexy but the lasting power on this is absolutely crazy to me this is this sort of an interesting scent that would make me come up to somebody and ask about their fragrance like try to get to know them because i think fragrance is an excellent start to the conversation and when somebody smells like this you have never smelled anything like this so you'll definitely want to come and talk to them so if you are that guy that loves really different scents that are super long lasting this to me is just a 10 out of 10 it's so good next up is a new favorite in <laughs> my fragrance collection but basically i buy everything to test for you guys and put it on my husband to be like try this try this and this is my new favorite designer cologne i would say and it's the new le mal elixir this is as good as it gets it's hype worthy guys it's hype worthy i've got a few lemals in my collection and i love this and a le parfum intense this however is just long lasting and also more projecting than le, Mal, le parfum intense uh, from jean paul gautier and this is super fun i love how juicy and fun and sweet it is it's like the sweetest candies out there crushed with a bit of mint thrown in there oh it just smells a bit like bubblegum as well this is ultra male but on steroids so much better than ultra male guys this is so good especially for somebody who's a bit younger but or maybe wants to project this fun sort of an attitude you're going out a lot this is a perfect fragrance or if you're in a crowded space a lot this is definitely attention worthy just really really cool uh, fragrance and long lasting super long lasting as well i could just smell it in the air it's so good next up we've got a hyper long lasting fragrance this is for somebody who doesn't want to shower and smell good <laughs> literally i joke about this but it's really true it lasts for days literally and it will make you smell clean which is a plus and it is ingredients from menzon crivelli this fragrance is so spicy so just clean smelling the ingredients are a secret so nobody knows what the ingredients are in this fra uh, fragrance but what it smells like is like clean laundry a bit of staticness from the dryer it smells also super spicy like the spice is on another level in here and then you're just left with this super cozy clean spicy scent 
which is extremely long lasting. You can't miss it. It literally, you touch somebody, it will stay on them. It's one of those scents that is unwashable almost. And it's so good, so intriguing. If you want like a staple fragrance that you can, you know, make your own, this is only available at Maison Crivelli's website. So it's an exclusive scent to them. You won't find anybody smelling like this. So if you want that scent to be extremely unique, really different this my husband wore it the other day and i was like wow you just smell so good it's, you, literally you can't pass by the scent indifferent next up it's a good old designer scent that is super long lasting the whole line i adore it's super long lasting this in particular for some reason it's the longest lasting in my opinion and it's the intense the ysly intense if you want a solid blue manly shower gel woody scent out there if this gets crazy women reactions yeah that's better this one this one is much better for you. you smell like that i think you've got money <laughs> that sounds really bad no no that's fine you, you do but smell more expensive yeah, okay. like, no, no. that i think that's my favorite that's this like favorite. that's like a 9.5 like 9.5 what yeah. is it what is it about this scent that you like more than the first one i don't know it just smells like musky but like sweet but like a bit savory uh -huh, okay. <laughs> and like sexy yeah yeah some more sexy vibe from this one yeah like i would prefer a guy to smell like that yeah the whole line does it's just one of those lines that just nail it it's super attractive you've got the ginger opening that is so fun and energizing and then you've got this shower freshness and you've got also this woodiness in there we've got patchouli in there as well which makes it a bit more like depths of the ocean just has got that really earthy beautiful smell really manly just super attractive and crowd pleasing and really long lasting next up is for a scent that is super long lasting this one also is at least 12 hours this is no joke it's an extrait de parfum which means even stronger than eau de parfum and it is umbra from jeroboam this tiny bottle might not look like much but believe me this is very strong you don't need tons of it to be smelled all day and this is the jammiest the coziest the just more most attractive boozy amber scent out there if you love amber if you love something like grand soir from mfk this is just on another level of quality and longevity i almost don't want to spray it on my arm because i know how long this lasts this was, will literally stick to you and to your clothes your sweater your scarf and it will make you smell absolutely amazing this is more of this romantic warm scent that is perfect for dates or for winter time Ugh, just absolutely enchanting amazing umbra from Jerobon. what i think when i'm like oh what scent is a guy in a bottle like a masculine man in a bottle and this to me is it it's sauvage elixir from dior i adore this scent and i know many women men they adore the scent and for a good reason it's another scent that is worth the hype i got it like straight after it came out and i was like this is the best thing ever that happened to the sauvage line this is not only extremely strong long lasting you've got this element of freshness of the sauvage line you've got this super showery woody freshness of this ambroxan just punch to your face sort of a scent and then you've got this gentleman also dna in here so it's like a mix between this modern sauvage eau de toilette but also that classy gentleman so it's the best of both worlds it's also a bit sweeter than um sauvage eau de toilette it's just magnificent it's one of the best designer manly scents out there try it if you haven't already before they do something to this juice because they'll probably do something like take away something reformulate but this is just so good so masculine and super long lasting next up we've got sexy as scent and i know i say a lot of these scents are sexy but scents 
Ah, colognes are sexy. They just make you more attractive. They do. Another scent, it is Haltan from Parfum de Mali. I love this scent. And you know why this one is one of my favorites? Because it's airy. It's like, I love many from Parfum de Mali. I love Herod. I love Ocean. I love different ones. But this one, for some reason, it's a bit more airy. It projects more. It grabs your attention more while still being fruity, juicy, but also woody, uh, very woody. This is if you love Oud for Greatness, for example, from Initio, and you want something even more, I would say, intense, but also sweeter and without that cleaner note that in Oud for Greatness, not everybody likes. There's this, this clean, musky scent. This doesn't have that, but it is similar to Oud for Greatness, in my, in my opinion. This is warm, sweet, but still fresh because of this ambroxin in here, this agar wood that is also found in things like Baccarat Rouge. It really brings this fragrance to life. It's just so, so sexy. This fragrance, you will fall in love with it on first sniff, I guarantee you. It's just got that effect. It's very crowd pleasing, but still unique and super long lasting. Love this and it's leathery. Oh, it's so good. Another scent that is the OG of scents. It's very long lasting and still to me very current, very attractive and you can get it at discounters for Estelle. So I always love to recommend it because if you're in a pinch, you want to smell amazing. This one is a guaranteed just compliment getter and it's long lasting and it's 1 million from Paco Rabanne, the original. I just love the original. I know that there's so many options out there, but all of them tend to be a bit sweeter. And to me, I love sweet fragrances on men, but not every fragrance, not every occasion. I think there's something just so attractive in this. This is still sweet. It's got vanilla, but it's got tons of cinnamon and it's also just balanced. It's still manly. There is sometimes men's colognes can go just too sweet. This is a perfect balance cologne. Smells actually very elevated for what it is. I know that many like young people get it because it's cheap, but like when I smell it, I can still smell like any age can pull this off and smell refined and really attractive. So one million, I still love you. I think it's such a great scent. Uh, so if you love it as well, let me know in the comments. Let's hype up one million because I think it gets a bad rep, but it's still such a good cologne in my opinion. Next, we've got a badass cologne. This is a long lasting, super badass cologne. You can't just like buy it as your first cologne. I think that would be just not a move. This is for somebody who loves this sort of a DNA, this cologne, don't blind buy it, like whatever you do. But if you love it, then you'll be a diehard fan of it. And to me, this is super, super attractive and it's Amouage Reckless Leather. This, this is a man. This is like just the rawness of like masculinity to me. I love how the leather is just dry and there is this like cucumber sort of a freshness to it. It, you know, like Dior Fahrenheit, if it had like a super niche alternative, this would be it. If you used to love maybe Dior Fahrenheit, but this definitely is not a copy, it's not a dupe. It smells much different, but it does have similar notes and it does have that raw masculine energy and it's hyper long lasting. I mean, the whole bottle is just gorgeous. It's so good. If I was a guy, I would purchase this for sure. <laughs> so Amouage Reckless Leather, this is very, very good. And another designer scent that I absolutely love, it's from Paco Rabanne again, and it's the Victory Elixir. I really enjoy the more intense versions of Victory. This is so good. If you love a hyper etern eternal lasting scent and you want to smell very masculine, like just very like woody, lavender, all those like 
good masculine notes that are found in a fragrance. You don't like sweet, you don't like amber, you just want a very long lasting, slightly unique designer scent. This is the one for you. It's super good, very attractive. I mean, many women, I would say, would find this scent a bit more attractive than Dior Sauvage or the Toilette even, because it's even more intense. And it is just, it's got a slightly different DNA, but it's in the similar, you know, super masculine, aquatic sort of shower gel, woody scent um, realm. This is such an understated cologne. I love this one and it's also not bad price either. So that one is the one that I would recommend from the whole line to you guys. Let me know what is your longest lasting cologne in your collection. I want to know and people want to know. So let us know in the comments. And if you disagree with any of these, let me know as well. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I said that weird. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>